Holy cow, is it ever overcast, guys? But check it out, a nice warm spell has left us with very little snow. And I know you guys have all been waiting for me to unveil my 1-8 scale Cragsman. Here it is, from Traction Hobby, distributed at Asia Tees. Now, I already put on a uh, front worn bumper, uh, or pardon me, the winch on the bumper there. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I don't have a winch controller, but I definitely wanted one there. I've also switched out the tires uh, to these mudslingers. These are the 2.2s, and a lot of you might be upset with me right now asking why I didn't run the stock tire today. And the reason is, is because I could already tell with the tread that was on them that I was gonna suffer uh, if I got into any kind of mud. And the RC four wheel drive mudslinger tires, they are very, very knobby as you can see. Check it out. I do have a uh, 2.2 sized crate bead locks on these tires. They're absolutely uh, super easy to put together, my friends. All I did was had to do basically five screws uh, and everything else about this rig is stock, right? One of the things I didn't point out before, you can see, look at nice gold paint job, RC sparks on the front, traction, there's boom racing. I know you guys noticed this, but I didn't point it out. Ready to have your minds blown? <laughs> hey, there's my buddy uh, Bob McKenzie there leaning forward to see where his, uh, where his uh, wheels are gonna be lining up. But yeah, you can run this topless, right? All the stickers, there's my GoPro on the inside. Have a look around to the other side. So in comparison to other vehicles, this is actually the largest scale truck I have. I know it's not very easy to see uh, uh, the scale or size of it. And yes, I will put it up against other vehicles in the future so you can see. But you know the size of a 2.2. <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to put this back on because it is still a little bit cold today. And uh, I don't want them to get cold. I'm going to put those uh, lights back up top and I want to get out trailing. What a beautiful day to be outside, guys. Wow. 
Check this climb out. This, I know you can't tell the grade of it, is going to be impossible. Super slippery, but I want to see how the 8 scale does with traction. Uh, this is normally, a, you know, like a mountain bike jump or hop down here. Uh, it keeps going down the trail. Uh, but I want to try and climb it right here. This is probably going to be one of the most difficult areas, uh, only because of the dampness and the type of soil we have. Plus, if you look down here, it's like a straight fall. So, let's get going. Down she went. That steep. Doesn't look like it on camera. All right. Now it's time for me to get up. I wish I had a tow rope so I could tow me up. Now it's at the next hard part, so I'm standing on a hill that has a vertical right here, but I think I can get up there. Whoa. Holding the camera with one hand. Now I'm gonna try and get up on that side, uh, but it's pretty much just a straight root system. So nice and slow. Crawling with a long wheelbase. Oh, I'm sliding over a bit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There we are. Okay, so here is a root gathering I normally do with my tent scales, and it is almost impossible to do at speed. You gotta really take your time. But this time, <laughs> bigger does turn out to be better. Check this out. Basically full throttle. All it does is eat it alive. <laughs> All right, guys, I know you're all going to want to know my thoughts on the Traction Hobby 1.8 scale Jeep, basically. Uh, it's called the Cragsman, but it looks just like a Jeep to me. <laughs> I opted not to do the hood scoop. I didn't really like the look of it, uh, but you'll see the front uh, hard uh, piece for the, the grill I, I painted black, as well as I gave it an outside bonnet or bra kind of look. Uh, so it, I, I think the gold, everything sets it off. These uh, Crate 2.2 beadlocks, I did not pop a bead the entire time and I was spinning quite a bit. Uh, overall I'm super happy with the vehicle. Um, the extra wheelbase like the length of it really great for incline and uh, trying to get traction when climbing on a slippery surface. Uh, one thing that I noticed it didn't really have much of yet unless there's a setting on the ESC was a drag brake. Kind of like to roll forward quite a bit uh, but it does have some resistance just not a whole lot. Overall, the only problem I saw that I had with it, which really comes down to endpoint adjustment on my radio, was the back diff. I couldn't get it to uh, stay locked until I went into the radio and I adjusted it. The other thing that's a bummer is that I lost the top of my snorkel. So I, I used quite a bit of glue, but it must have just pulled off in the roll. Not a big deal. I can make another. But overall, everything is working. None of my drive shafts twisted. Uh, no slip ups. Check it out. I love this feature. Basically, hey, okay, take off the uh, Velcro and the magnets, complete access to the inside, get all that water out of here. Uh, as far as I know, I did not read on the box that this was waterproof, but I'll just keep it dry now for the next, you know, 24 to 48 hours. I'm not really going to be too worried. Uh, yeah, I'm looking right on those servos. I don't see waterproof anywhere, but I took a risk today. There is five servos, guys. You're right. I made a mistake. I said there was four last time when I unboxed it, uh, but one, two, three, four, 
and five, of course, right? So all very cool. Uh, everything is working 100% and the ease of use and no body pins, man. I love that. It's about time. Uh, another manufacturer came out with magnets up there. So guys, I give it a thumbs up. Uh, the price point on it's been awesome, uh, you know, all over the world. Unfortunately, I don't think Asia Tees ships to Australia. I don't know why, I'm in Canada. <laughs> but uh, as far as I know, Traction Hobby is in Australia as well. All you have to do is look up the website. Uh, I saw they're getting their first shipment shortly. I just happened to be perusing the web and I saw it. So guys, thanks a lot. Like, click, comment down below. What do you think of the 1.8 scale now that you've seen it out? Uh, are you like on the fence? Like, ah, it doesn't look like it can do too much more than a 10 scale. Or are you like, holy cow, that's the bomb. I hate the color, but I want uh, I want one a different color. <laughs> I love my color. Are you kidding me? I think a gold truck is dope. I just need to get some uh, matching champagne rims and I think I'd be on point there. But guys, see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Bye for now.